For countless generations, the Pacawaras, an indigenous tribe in Bolivia, have sung this song while hunting and fishing amid the dense Amazon forest. But in a few years, it could be that nobody will be able to sing it as a few members of the tribe are getting old and they don't have anyone to pass their knowledge on to. <laughs> the singer is Bose Yaku, who died shortly after the BBC visited the area, leaving behind her five siblings, who are the last Pacawaras in the world. They live in Alto Ivon, a remote village in the northeast of Bolivia, where they were relocated back in 1969. American missionaries helped them escape the travels that overwhelmed their tribe and ancestral lands. As the world's hunger for rubber increased, the Pacawaras suffered terribly. Bose's family is the only one from her tribe believed to have survived. Brazilian rubber gatherers were bad to us. They even killed my father. We were forced to hide in the deep of the jungle so they wouldn't find us. Since we were moved to this new location, we have a more peaceful life. Since their arrival in this remote village more than 40 years ago, the Pacawaras have progressively assimilated with the Chacobo lifestyle, the predominant tribe in the area. Most of the Pacawaras have married Chacobos and adopted their language and customs. <laughs> Bose was the oldest of the Pacawaras and the only one married to a member of her tribe, Buka, who was about 10 years younger than her. When I was young, I didn't have a husband. My father got together with my mother's sister, and my husband is the son of his second wife. So my husband and I are half-siblings. The couple didn't want to talk about why they had no children. And even though they knew it could mean the end of their language, it was not something they seemed to be worried about. I'm not sad. Our culture is still alive. When we die, it will die out too. But they have little hope in the next generation continuing the Pacawara's culture, let alone their language. Young people don't learn songs like the ones my wife sung. They're not interested. This little village with four houses is probably the last place in the world where the Pacawara's language can be heard. As Bose's song fades into the Amazon forest, so too could the legacy of this ancient Pacawara tribe. Laura Plitt, BBC News.